Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kessel Chapels The Chew. My name is Robert Wallace. I'm the lead pastor for this ministry, and I'm very excited to bring you this special New Year's edition. Why is it special? Well, because it is going to break with the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, however, I thought it was important as I was listening to our company prayer this morning, I was reminded of what Paul said in Philippians chapter 3 beginning in verse 12. I want to share that with you because I think it's important as we turn the corner and we head into the year 2021 that we place a little perspective on things. As difficult as 20 has been for so many of us in so many different ways, we have so much to be thankful for and so many things to know that God has blessed us with. So I thought it was important as I was reminded of what Paul said here in Philippians to the church at Philippi, that I share that with you this morning. So I want to encourage you to grab your Bible, turn to Philippians chapter 3. We'll begin reading in verse 12. We'll only read three or four verses here uh, because I want to make the point that we can take and use this passage as basically our verses for 2021, if you will. We're going to be starting a new uh series of messages at Charlottesville First Church of the Nazarene, led by Pastor Bud Reedy this year. It's going to be a year of discipleship, and the series is called The Way. So I want to encourage you, if you don't have a family church, and even if you do, if you want to be a part of listening, these messages will be posted live every Sunday from CFCN, and then during the week, we're going to be chewing on this message series. So I hope by now you've grabbed your Bible and your pen and paper. So we can look at Philippians chapter 3, beginning in verse 12 together. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenwardly, heavenward in Christ Jesus. Let these verses sink in today. Chew on this. Sure, we have regrets from 21 or from 20. Let's don't carry them into 21. Let's forget the past in that we don't allow it to rule us. We don't allow it to condemn us. We allow the Holy Spirit to show us and convict us of what changes we need to make. And then let's make those changes. And let's press on. Let's learn from 20. And let's go forward in 21, keeping our eyes focused on the prize being who Christ intends us to be in the body of believers. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. And Father, as we enter into 21, I pray for each and every one watching this today. Father, I pray that each of us will have eyes to see and ears to hear your word of truth. And Father, may we receive this in our hearts and minds. May this be a transformative passage for us today. Father, lead us and guide us. Help us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, as you intercede for us, take our feeble prayers, Father, and whisper them, Lord Jesus, to the Father. May we grow in your grace. May we be renewed today. And Father, may we leave this time together energized and ready to bring glory and honor to you, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray that you will receive all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you'll go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.